Greetings, friends. So I thought I would just do this brief meditation, mindful practice for you, because so many of you have asked for me to do it. I'm on my higher dose PEMF mat. If you want information on how to get yours, I can give you that. But for now, this is a practice for breathing, for grounding and resetting yourself. And so we're going to begin by putting our hands on our belly and taking a deep inhale through the nose and an exhale through the nose. And the second round, we're going to take that deep inhale through the nose and we're going to open the mouth and and that third round is Yogi's choice. So if you prefer the ha or the exhale through the nose, that's up to you. The inhalation is fully through the nose. So take a deep breath in. I like the ha, so I'm going to ha. And then hands come to the rib. If sitting cross-legged isn't comfortable for you, you can sit any way you like, okay? You could even recline, but that's coming. So you'll take a deep breath into the ribs. The ribs go wide. They expand like bellows as you inhale. And again, as you exhale, it could be that. And the ribs start to funnel. My shoulders are lined away from my ears. Two more like that. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Inhaling. Exhaling. My mat has heat coming right now and the PM, PEMF, and I can already feel myself grounding to a whole nother earthing space. So now the hands come up onto the ribs. You take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And I'm using my hands as little assistance to remind my body where I want to feel the pressure change. Inhale. This time. <sighs> and one more any way you like. Inhale. Ah. <sighs> So now we're going to put that three-part breath into lying on our back into what's called Veloma breathing. So belly, ribs, upper collarbones, where your first rib is. Okay, so now you can lie down onto your back. I like to have my knees bent, so that's what I'm going to suggest. If you don't know what I mean, you can visually watch my shape shift and then join me. I lie on my back. My knees are bent. Oh. Truthfully, I could just lay like this the whole time and just practice breathing and sustain myself with that gift of being the connoisseur of my breath for the sake of our purpose and our intention. We're going to put hands on belly and take that deep breath in through the nose. And then you'll exhale the way you want. The first round, we're just going to do one in each area. The second breath is those ribs widening as you inhale. And narrowing as you exhale. And the third round is the collarbones. And your breath might be longer than my capacity. You just stay true to that. Inhaling. And exhaling. If that really resonates, that type of breath, you're laying down on your mat. I happen to be enjoying my heat from my bio mat. You can just keep doing belly, ribs, first collarbone. I'm going to break it down into a three-part inhale where the first part of my inhale or the first third of my inhale goes into the belly. 
The second third of my inhale goes into my ribs. The third third of my inhale comes up toward my collarbones and what's significant is my breath. I exhale everything out. You may not feel the pressure changes initially. Stay focused. Inhale. Belly. Ribs. Collarbones. Everything exhausts out with the exhale, particularly everything that's exhausting you. You can do several more rounds, belly, ribs, collarbones. Exhaling. Do do your best to stay awake because sometimes we get sleepy, belly. Ribs, collarbone, exhaling. If at this point you feel really relaxed and your intention is to just rest and refuel, you could just let your legs go long and your palms face up and lay right here. If you're enjoying the Veloma breathing, the belly, ribs, collarbones, you can do several more rounds. Otherwise, go ahead and roll to one side. Take your time and slowly come up. Sometimes just that amount of breathing can reset everything. I could have stayed there and taken a really wonderful respite. The final part of this that I'm gonna offer up for you is the great peace begins with me. I like to always incorporate into my relaxation and my meditation practice that remembering that my peace is mine to cultivate. And if peace begins with me, no one can take my peace. And I can't give anyone peace except for myself. And then I can show up in a peaceful way. So we use the mudra of thumb, index finger, peace. Thumb, middle finger begins. Thumb, ring finger, with. Thumb, baby finger, me. So it's peace begins with me. You can rest your hand on the thigh or the knee and do both hands or one. Again, peace, I tap index finger, begins. I tap middle finger with, I tap ring finger, me, baby finger. Peace begins with me. I'm getting steeped in the peace. Begins with me. I'm getting grounded in the peace. Begins with me. And you're really saying it over and over again with the tactile cue of the thumb touching each finger and with that sense of the words echoing through your vessel, your container as a way of rerouting, refueling, and allowing yourself to align with your own frequency so that you can be peaceful. 
And so that your essence, your rasa, your flavor is that of peace. And that you can feel complete and whole and wholehearted and holy. So you can continue doing as many rounds as you like. I'm going to finish the round I'm on. And then I bring my hands to my heart center just as an acknowledgement. I did this practice. I showed up for me. We showed up for you. And we know peace begins with me. Namaste.